Welcome to another episode of Tungsten 4.0. I hope you're having an amazing day, joyriding in your Mustang or whatever you're doing. Thank you for watching. This might apply to you. I'm trying not to make this channel everything that's wrong with the car, but I know that a lot of people search for these issues all the time, and there are hardly no videos on them, so check this out. I did some research with this problem. Whenever my window is closed, for example, but I hit the window up button, it loads the system with an electrical load. And what happens is, if I'm idling, stopped, and I have it in drive, the RPMs will bog down and shake the engine and then return to normal. And with a little bit of research, I figured out it's one of two things, as always, is that it could be an alternator technically gets more difficult to turn when it has an electrical load on it. And the science behind that is a little bit tricky, but if it's harder to turn, your harmonic, harmonic balancer and serpentine belt could be strained and the engine has to figure out what to do about that load. And therefore, you'll have an interruption. And this happens too whenever the fan kicks on to cool the engine. Now it's an electric fan, it should not technically put a load on the serpentine belt, but if the alternator is harder to turn, then it, it does. The second thing that people said is that you either have a malfunctioning idle air control, or your system doesn't have enough power to control the idle air control. Whenever you use electricity in the system, that gets compromised. I think I've eliminated that because I just tested the battery and the voltage is spot on. The alternator voltage is spot on. So I can't imagine that there's not enough power in the system. It's not a low battery, it's a great battery. So I'm leaning more toward a bad idle air control. And I think if you if I pick it up for 35 bucks and change it out, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'll show you as well sort of what happens when you load the engine. I'm coming to a stop now. And all I did was put my window up even though it was already up. And the engine bogs down and the RPMs drop and it shakes. Really weird stuff. I hope this helps. I know it's a really weird problem. I only ever have weird problems with cars. I guess the normal stuff, you already know how to fix it, so it's no trouble. But anyway, use this to your advantage while you're testing your problems out. I hope you can get it fixed, running well, and just enjoy, enjoy your Mustang. Thanks again for watching.